20 facts about Apple. Coming in at number 20, we have Apple's product placement. If you aren't familiar with what product placement is, it's where a company is paid a sum of money and in exchange they allow their product to be used in a film or TV show. However, Apple actually doesn't even have a way for shows to contact them about product placement. So the only way you're getting to use Apple products is if they approach you directly. Coming in at number 19, we have the pay. As some of you may or may not know, Apple employees aren't paid by the hour and are rather paid a lump sum of cash for each day worked. With that being said, that lump sum of cash makes it seem like Apple employees are rolling in the dough. However, that's not the case, because if you would break down their earnings into the long hours they have to work, then it seems like they're getting paid hardly nothing. Coming in at number 18, we have Smoking Voids Warranty. We all know that smoking is bad for you. However, Apple has a very strict no smoking policy which doesn't allow any smoking in their buildings. And if that isn't worse enough, Apple will actually void the warranty on your Apple computers if they notice someone has been smoking around the computer. Coming in at number 17, we have the U.S. Treasury. It is said that Apple has more money than the U.S. Treasury. If you're not familiar with who or what the U.S. Treasury is, well that's where all the money is printed. And it's estimated that Apple actually has more money than the Treasury. Until they print more of it, of course. Coming in at number 16, we have Apple Maps. When Apple decided to ditch Google Maps and create their own GPS style app, Apple Maps, they truly messed up, which is what some iPhone users might say. According to multiple reviews on the Apple Maps, they're not nearly as accurate as Google Maps and are even harder to navigate. Coming in at number 15, we have Pollution. Apple has claimed time and time again to be environmental friendly. However, Apple actually falls below its competitors Samsung and Dell when it comes to the environment. On a side note, Apple's data centers burn through fossil fuel like butter. Coming in at number 14, we have Employee Scam. It's a no-brainer that Apple has hundreds of employees at their disposal. However, it is rumored that some Apple employees may be up to no good, with merchandise going missing daily, but maybe this isn't the employee stabbing Apple in the back. Perhaps it's a secret deal between employees and Apple because some employees have also been found guilty of submitting wrong cell figures into the computers upon customer checkout. Coming in at number 13 we have the use of Colton. Colton is a mineral that is used often in electronics because it has several useful properties. It is extremely resistant to high temperatures and can also withhold an electrical charge for a long period of time. However, like gold, many rebel groups mine Colton from Congo so they can sell it to manufacturers for a gain. However, it's unknown if Apple suppliers buy from these rebel groups or not. Coming in at number 12, we have Hacker Friendly. Every iPhone from the 4 onwards records the exact coordinates of its users several times a day along with a timestamp. The data from this is stored in a secret file, or rather not so secret, because actually the secret file your recent location is stored in isn't even so much as encrypted, which means that anyone who could access your phone or hack into it can see everywhere you've went recently and how long you stayed for. Coming in at number 11, we have ebook price rise. A judge from Manhattan found Apple to be guilty of colluding with publishers to raise the price of ebooks, in which was probably an attempt from Apple to try to get publishers to turn against Amazon. Because Amazon had recently promised that even bestseller books were to be sold at no more than $9.99 a piece. And with some publishers angry at Amazon for their low price guarantee, this tactic might have been one that would have worked in Apple's favor. Coming in at number 10, we have NSA's Prison Project. Apple recently denied even being a part of NSA's Prison Project. 
However, within time, they eventually admitted to helping out with it, which didn't make customers very happy considering Apple lied to them. Coming in at number 9, we have tax avoidance. Although Apple isn't avoiding taxes illegally, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not avoiding them at all. In fact, Apple is using offshore accounts to funnel their money through so that they only have to pay 2% sales tax according to the Senate that investigated the case. And although it isn't illegal, it's pretty much downright wrong. Coming in at number 8 we have fake projects. Ever wonder why the new iPhone is never leaked by Apple employees? Well good question. And the answer to that is new Apple employees are actually tested before working on real Apple products. Apple will give them a fake project to work on, see if they spill their beans about the project to anyone, and if not, then they move on to the real products. But if they do, then they're fired. Coming in at number 7, we have Carpenters on Standby. Apple seems to always have Carpenters on Standby because anytime they need a new room built, whether it be for a project or to expand the store, it seems like a new room appears overnight. I guess with the money Apple has, this wouldn't be too surprising. Coming in at number 6, we have an iPhone that costs $3 million. Did you know that because of the extremely high price of technology, that if the iPhone was built just 6 years before its time, it would have costed nearly $3 million to make one single iPhone. That's crazy, huh? Coming in at number 5, all iPhone ads show the same time. Have you ever noticed in a commercial or ad that every iPhone, no matter the generation, shows the same exact time, 941? Strange, huh? Well, there is a reason behind this. And the reason is because back in 2007, it was exactly 941 when Steve Jobs launched the very first iPhone. Coming in at number 4, we have Working With Children. Apple has been known to make parent workers feel extremely bad about having to leave work, or come in late due to a child emergency. And according to recent workers, Apple doesn't even try to work around childcare at all. Coming in at number 3, it's not a nurturing work environment. Over the years, Apple employees have complained about not feeling relaxed at work and feeling like they're pressured to perform. However, I don't see why this is a big deal. Sounds like your average job to me. Coming in at number 2, we have association with Foxconn. Foxconn is a conventional Chinese electronics manufacturer that Apple uses to produce some of its parts. In 2010, 18 people attempted suicide by jumping off the roof of the Foxconn building that they worked at. Concerned with working conditions, Apple then investigated Foxconn factories only to find out that they had underage kids, or intern students as they called them, working for them. Apple still continues to work alongside Foxconn today, but will always have some degree of guilt from association. Coming in at number one, we have Steve Jobs was paid only $1 a year as CEO of Apple. While this one sounds like a complete lie, it's 100% the truth. Steve Jobs' salary for an entire year from Apple was $1 because he had to be getting paid at least something from the company as an employee so he could receive Apple's medical insurance. But don't worry, he earned a lot more than a dollar on his shares in Apple and Disney Pixar.